But it can buy me a boat It can buy me a truck to pull it It can buy me a Yeti Just keep your gun on safety unless you're ready. Hey guys, so we were just hunting in the woods. It's my dad over there. We're just gonna walk through the property. We have a feeder over there. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's right over there on the tree. We have a blind here. In case if it rains one day, we can come down from the stand and just sit in the blind. We're gonna go uh, check the feeder right now to see if there's any corn in it. Do you see any tracks? A, oh man. That's a big buck, but it's old. Yeah. <clears throat> He's kind of fresh. It still has corn? Yeah. What the crap? That's weird. It's been what? How long since we put it? I don't know. Let me for a second. Yeah. Let me see how much corn is. Still got quite a bit. Probably lost about 10 to 20 pounds. They ain't hit me as hard as I thought. Which is freaking weird. I mean, they're usually active in this spot. They're usually very active in this spot. This is really uncommon for this time of year. Uh, we're getting close to the end of January and we still have an active scrape where as you can see here a really good size buck track came through this morning and it had to be this morning because it rained real hard last night and all these you got a bunch of deer tracks here are really fresh I mean it didn't stop raining till almost this morning so these tracks have to be from this morning and you can see this twig has been hit it's amazing you know they tell you the rut from this time to this time it all depends when these does go in usually the mulelings will go in very very late in the season and we'll get these bucks back in action after them so this is zach from no Hearts outdoors and today we'll and we find a nice rub here on this pine tree you can look closely pretty nice um hopefully We'll see the deer, we get to shoot them. <laughs> 